ChatGPT's Atlas browser has been out for three days, and here are the three reasons why it's now my default browser. People are asking whether or not Atlas is worth the hype, but I truly believe this is the first step in the new way we're gonna be using the internet. So make sure to save this for later so you can get the most out of Atlas too. The first and probably most obvious is no matter what page we're on, whether it's a video, whether it is a article or a blog, you are going to be able to open up the Ask ChatGPT tab and speak directly with ChatGPT as if it's an assistant trained on whatever it is that you're looking at. And this is so good and saves us so much time because we don't have to provide any additional context like we used to with pasting a link or copying and pasting the article. Now we just click one button and we can just say whatever we want and it's fully trained on whatever it is that we're looking at. I've got a quick fourth one at the end too, which is gonna allow you to flex a little bit. My personal favorite here is that on the left-hand side, you've got a menu bar that allows you to open up your entire ChatGPT history, no matter what page you're in, so you can see every conversation you've ever had. This one, honestly, for me, is the complete game changer because now, no matter what I do, I don't have to bounce back and forth between apps. I'm always inside of ChatGPT, which for me just saves a ton of time. Number three is agent mode because there are certain tasks that I have to do that don't take a lot of brain power, but they take a lot of time, so now I can have agent do it for me. Because there's certain customer data that I have to extract manually, which would take forever because there's 318 pages, I just have agent mode do it for me. And in your settings, it'll show you how many days ago you joined ChatGPT. So let me know down in the comments, what's your number?